Not really. Summer break for most of us university students mean internships. So today, I'm taking you on a day in my life as a marketing and communications intern in Singapore during this pandemic lovato. Pink whip, thick ass, give them whip loud. Cue the montage. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe. I am a second year undergraduate studying digital culture in King's College London. And on this channel, we explore all things career, entrepreneurship, and intentional living for young creatives who are looking to find work and live a life that they truly love. And as much as I'd like to get on to talking about the internship and what I'm doing and where I'm working at, we need to have our caffeine fix. I just got done with my two meetings. I am a marketing and communications intern at Level 3, which is a open innovation ecosystem slash co-working space that is in partnership with Unilever Foundry as well as Padang & Co. I am essentially in charge of event planning, copywriting for social media, newsletters, and electronic direct mail, as well as managing the website and essentially facilitating interactions between between the members and the partnerships that we have with corporates and government as well as uh, venture capitalists. I can see a lot of what I like studied in school sort of being applied to here which I feel like is something really rare. I think because I sort of have to be knowledgeable in the language of tech because a lot of the copywriting I do is in regards to that. Also, you guys may be wondering like why I'm here on my own and I don't have like other people so essentially Singapore is in a mini lockdown right now uh, because there has been like a rise in cases so uh, the default work format is to work from home but because I work in a co-working space someone has to sort of like man the office but I only really go to the office like once or twice so it's essentially a hybrid work environment I'm gonna continue getting some work done I gotta put on my mask because um, we're not Karens out here. Do you have a to wear a mask? Do you have a bag? Stay safe and let's get some work done. So I managed to send out the email drafts before lunch and now we know what time it is, it's time to eat! Let's go and walk around Tiong Bahru and see what's up! Let's go! <laughs>
So the reason why I'm here in this specific office and the reason why I'm even saying this specific office is because normally I would be going back and forth between our office at level 3 and Catalyst. So essentially these two are two different co-working spaces and innovation ecosystems under Padang and Co. Because of the new measures with um, the rise in cases here, I have sort of been delegated to stay at Catalyst for the moment. And the thing with Catalyst is that it is a, the heart of healthcare sector because Catalyst itself specializes in housing, health tech, and med tech startups. Hopefully, I'll get to bring you guys in level three as well because that one's a really nice office. If you're getting value so far, hit the like button, go comment Welcome to my Notion dashboard for all things internships. I thought I'd just show you this because I am pretty proud of how I've managed to organize it. I have like a section of stuff to open up in the morning and then just here types of meetings. I wrote this down because I was so confused at first. I was like, how many meetings do we have in a week and every single day? So that's just for my reference. And then also here are the platforms that we use and all of the master sheets that we have because sometimes like what i love about notion is that it immediately just like links to your sheets and websites and links and whatnot and then also login details and here's the part which is like my oh my gosh i don't know how i would have gone about without this but it just details like all of the things i have to do so i have to do like admin i have to do website the newsletter social media facebook graphic design events so essentially this is just like a cheat sheet for myself yo dude like you gotta have a system for these sort of things even if you're not graded it's just nice to look back on and see like what you've done and actually back it up with facts like you will eventually forget all of the things that you would have done so this is just for your future self essentially talking about the death of brand websites with the new integration of Google Core Web Vitals. It's basically meant to teach people how to optimize their website for the new changes that are going to be made that might make some of the functions that they have on their website kind of irrelevant. So part of the reason why this role is also pretty exciting is because alongside like planning it and also creating marketing collaterals for all of the things, I also have to attend it and you know write down key takeaways so that it can be blasted out to all our social media channels afterwards we are coming to the end of the work day it is 5 30 p.m and so i'm just gonna be wrapping up and then hopefully leaving on time at 6 p.m if you like the video so far girl boy non-binary person all the she hers he him they them and all the other pronouns that i can possibly think of leave a like down below it really helps me out hang in tight the work day is almost done officially done with work it's time to go home